फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर सेक्शन वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन ऑफ द कोड ऑफ सिविल प्रोसीजर हैज बीन अमेंडेड सो एज टू टेक अवे द पावर ऑफ रिविजन ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट्स अगेंस्ट क्वेश्चनिंग ऑर्डर्स दिस रिविजन वॉज पोजिंग अ लोट ऑफ इनकनवीनियंस टू द लिटिगेंट अगेंस्ट क्वेश्चनिंग ऑर्डर्स फाइल्ड इन कोर्ट्स विच आर पेंडिंग फॉर ईयर्स एंड दी सूट्स आर बींग स्टेट दिस हैज बीन टेकन आउट ऑफकोर्स द पावर ऑफ रिविजन ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट्स इज देयर वेयर नो अपील लाइज आई fully endorse this amended clause about judgment a new clause has been introduced the judgments should be delivered within a fortnight of the closing of the hearing of the case if that is not possible with notice to the parties it should be done within 30 days this is very salutary if the court finds that it is not possible to deliver the judgment within 30 days for reasons to be recorded in writing it can postpone the delivery of the judgment to a subsequent date giving notice to the parties therefore the purpose of the amendment would not be served ordinarily in cases where the judge has to give notice to parties of judgment at a later date and i do not think the litigant will be benefited i am glad that another new order has been added which gives the party the litigant the cause incurred by him prior to the filing of the suit it is a good thing previously the plaintiff who obtained a decree could not get the cause incurred by him prior to the filing of the suit now this has been included it is a good improvement under this provision in such family suits the courts shall try to settle them before the trial begins it is a good thing in family matters like a husband filing a suit for judicial separation or the wife filing a suit for maintenance there the courts will come to the aid of the parties and in camera they could try to settle and see that they could come together in most cases the courts will succeed in seeing that parties come to an understanding without undergoing the trouble of lending evidence on either side similar provision should be made where the subject matter of the suit does not exceed rupees 3000 we have limited the right of appeal to suits where 
द सब्जेक्ट मैटर इज मोर देन रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड सर सिमिलर प्रोविजन शुड बी थोट ऑफ हियर ऑल्सो सो दैट द कोर्ट वुड कम टू द रेस्क्यू ऑफ द पर्सनस एंड सी दैट द मैटर इज सेटल्ड नाउ द पोजिशन इज दैट assistance of lawyer would be given to the plaintiff the high court is authorized to frame rules as it deems fit but god alone knows when the high court will frame such rules legal aid should not be taken as only an assistance of a lawyer now you are giving assistance of only lawyer to plaintiff who is needy but what about defendant who is also equally poor i am not talking about poor defendants he is equally needy and he should be entitled to legal assistance this of course comes within the purview of legal aid there is also another proposal in the amending bill that case which has been brought should be disposed of within 60 days under the election law election petitions are required to be disposed of within 6 months but they are never disposed of within 6 months they take years so it is only a pious wish much time is taken up in serving notice of the appeal on the respondents so though it is a good thing i doubt whether this will be achieved sir none of the objects for which the amending bill has been brought forward can be achieved by this amending bill but the bill is helpful in one respect it has streamlined the procedure it has removed doubts it has removed conflict of judicial decisions by codifying the law on legal aid the question is how the litigant can have inexpensive justice and also speedy justice court fees have become major source of revenue for each state government and every year they raise court fees it is impossible for the litigant to pay such high court fees the law minister told us that last year he had written to chief ministers about it but there has been no effect so far when i spoke on law ministries demands this year i said that court fees should be kept within reasonable limits and that they should not be raised administration of justice is also a function of a state which is a welfare state another way of imparting inexpensive and speedy justice is to decentralize 
द कोर्ट्स कोर्ट्स शुड बी एस्टाब्लिस्ड एट ईच ब्लॉक हेडक्वाटर्स सो दैट द लिटिगेंट विल नॉट बी कंपेल्ड टू टेक द विटनेसिस टू द नियर बाय सिटीज द विटनेस इज द मेजर सोर्स ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर फॉर द लिटिगेंट्स बिकॉज विटनेस हैज टू बी ट्रीटेड लाइक एन ओनर्ड गेस्ट स्टोक